Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Before we get into these characters in the story, let's talk about some of the things that I really enjoy. They're showing leeches. They're pointing out that everybody uses this drug. It's not just the dirty crackheads on the corner that we think. The people selling it are using it. Um, they're showing the various ways that it did get in your bloodstream. Love the tennis racket and the shovel. Where Avi had the racket in one hand and the shovel in the other. What a message that sent. Sports memorabilia in the show. Have y'all watched that documentary? I think it was about the Oakland Raiders. I want to say it was the Oakland Raiders. Anyway, it was like an ESPN or something like that. Um, a doc and they were talking about how much money the profit that they make off of the sports clothing and hats and stuff especially in that time period and you know the teams and the college players they weren't getting any bread off of it but it's interesting so the fact that they were showing Raiders Lakers and Kansas City Royals I thought that was pretty true they, the sports memorabilia showing the impact it had on the culture to this day radios the, the jungle radio that was cool the birds chirping everything you could close your eyes and you knew okay we were not in america we were somewhere else because there's no monkeys there's no monkeys on leashes the greenery was awesome just beautiful background back to the, they they set us there sweaty Ooh, it was a big difference right sweaty hot yes mosquito heaven bamboo the possums in this episode this episode was dope Yo, all of that running in socks. He did all of that running in them Hanes high socks. Give Carvel a little bit of credit, y'all. Give him a little bit of credit, all right? Dang, can you run in the desert without shoes on? See Lucia's childhood of torment? Now we know why she can boss up and, and, and deliver when she needs to, right? It's deep within her. This episode, we learned a lot about weaknesses, splits, and at the end of the day, man, Franklin is still not where he desires to be as a man and as that future king of the streets. Y'all ready to get into it? Let's dive into it. Yeah, I know how I do. You know I don't do Franklin first, but do Franklin last. Teddy is in the jungle with his Kansas City Royals cap on. He is trying to learn as much as he can. He's trying to fix what he messed up with Alejandro. Teddy is hot. It's nasty. It's looking like mosquito heaven up in that thing. He knows he messed up, but he really needs this partnership. He needs it to work. Alejandro and Teddy, y'all kind of two in the same. If you think about it, both of y'all spouses and wives are aware of what you do. Most people are secretive about it, yet are in the game, if I'm correct. Isn't his wife part of the agency he works for, Teddy? And Alejandro's wife is handling business out there. He's trying to figure out how to work that cocoa leaf and... Flip it into HCL. Somebody, the little kid messed up, man. He had that firefly transmitter. Got caught and got got. Toodaloo, little boy. But dope quote out of Teddy's section of the story was, he said, he's just a kid. What did they say? A kid who tried to kill us all. Ooh. Now, what was Teddy's weakness? I'm going to give y'all one second to say it. All right. He said, let the kid go. They ain't got time for no weaknesses, man. Then he let the monkey go. Like I said, this episode, we see a weak point of these strong characters and them figuring out, do I continue? Also, Squad started this episode off. And I'm talking about, they they were representing the left. You know, I'm not a Lakers fan. I know some of y'all are definitely from that that area, that California area, and that's what y'all about. And y'all diehard Laker fans. You know, I respect the game. Give me a 30-second rant on uh, um, on the Lakers real quick. All right, y'all, 30 seconds. Count me down. I, I mean, I, y'all did y'all thing. Y'all had Magic. Y'all had Worthy. Y'all had Kobe. And you got... Do we need to talk about what Allen Iverson did to y'all, man? What he did to, to Lou? How he did that big, nasty step over? I'm not. I'm a Bulls girl. Will always be a Bulls girl, no matter what. I don't care what, what Derrick Rose did to destroy us. I won't talk about Butler leaving. So to see that Lakers, that Lakers hoodie, it kind of put me on, feeling some type of way. Back to the show. I know everybody appreciated his Raiders hat. Um, they hoodied up. They got a corpse in the trunk of the car. At Lucia, the details in this episode was on point. Lucia, she thought she washed her hair. She thought she was cleaning. She's like. What 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 is this? It's like a, a bloody shell casing in the back of her head. I mean, 
what a terrible feeling. I mean, I haven't had a bloody one, but I mean, I've definitely been to the range shooting and uh, I mean, I've had kickback with a dang on hot shell hitting my up in here. And I'm like, ah, 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 and you got it. Anyways, we see Oso's guy snorting. So he's doing drugs. Like I said, we're seeing people who we wouldn't exactly expect or suspect to be users, but they're using this drug for party purposes. They're using this drug for recreational use or as an anesthetic, like he had a big nasty last, I also had a nasty laceration on his back on his backside, and he wasn't taking it, but yet he still had the same effect. Will he get addicted? Will also end up being addicted to this drug now that he knows what it it, it can do to him? I don't know. Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Shazam! He talked about his dream and his dream to have a gym. That was cool because then we got to see a deeper side of also. Who is also? Gustavo, who are you? We're here for it though. As fans, we are here for your character, for real. To see his growth, to see Franklin's growth, to see what happens with uh, Teddy. I feel like Alejandro's gonna get got though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So back to Oso. I really, really enjoy seeing his sleeping quarters. Well, I mean, it wasn't like enjoyable, but to see just the quality that they put behind his grind and his slum. His slum is for real because. I mean, are y'all sleeping with a headboard behind you? I hope you are. I hope you have a headboard behind your, your sleeping quarters every night on top of your bed. You know what I mean? Uh, this guy's got newspaper, newspaper wallpaper. Dang, his struggle is serious, y'all. We need to get him a Walmart gift card so he can get some sheets. Because that slump sleeping bag wasn't... That's, the sleeping bag, that Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, sleeping, uh, Eagle Scout stuff... I, I used to be a Girl Scout, so y'all can... We got to get him some sheets, okay? But Lucia called that man out. She said, you froze. After he tried to say she wasn't about that life. It, remember? he She said, you froze. She's giving orders, and he knows it. Because the worst thing you could do is, is micromanage someone and say, repeat after me. And that's exactly what she did. And I said, oh, wow. Check her out. She said, you F this up, I'm going to kill you. Boss, can we get on to our boy Franklin? Y'all ready? I have to take a break. Sorry. All this talking. All this talking. I needed a break. Franklin is target shooting, preparing to get Carvel the mm, bandit. He must be down with Ray J's. This must be one of them dudes Ray J was talking about. It's dinosaurs, ro robots, and I'm just like, oh man, this is really showing his his green, how green he is, you know. He's not shooting at a range, obviously. He's not shooting out in the country, in the desert. He's not shooting at obvious, you know. Uh, he's not at the level of, I'm going to practice shooting a, a human in a bulletproof vest. No, he's shooting under a freaking expressway on concrete with toys, right? And he can't even do it because his homeboy is like, let me help you. He does, he's so stubborn, he doesn't even want the help. <laughs> Leon's trying to help out, but he's not receptive to it. Leon's trying to help the only way that he knows how, and that's to be hands-on. And that's how he's going about finding the dude who gypped him for that money. We get to his house, and it's covered with beer. He's got a chick on his lap. And I'm like, you know what? This is how stuff spreads. Well, he gets up, he collapses. And I'm like, okay, he can't be dead. Please tell me y'all tied him up or did something. You know what I mean? To keep this guy. They didn't. Ivy, Ivy, I absolutely love Ivy. I, I like his pot belly. I like that he's so comfortable in the skin that he's in that he feels he can wear a mankini in an open shirt. I appreciate his tennis outfit with his gym teacher. Um, Y'all go do two mile run today. I like his white shorts and his polo, his vintage glasses, and he's got give it to me hair. Yes. And Ivy got a thing for the sisters. I see you. What did Ivy say? Ivy said something dope. He said, these are my children. I, he said, these are my children. I adopted them. I'm teaching them to be men. Wow. Driving the lac. So, I know y'all wonder why this Cadillac behind me. You know why. This fool done went and bought a brand new Cadillac. That's got to be an Eldorado. I couldn't believe it. They said he put custom tires, custom rims on it too. Of course, because you know why? That's what folk do. First thing they do, they get some bread. They go splurge. He goes to splurge and he gets to look at me purchases. A shiny new Cadillac. Mm -mm -mm. 
Ivy said, look, man, if you don't get this Cadillac up out of here and get it in the desert, you got a little gift in the trunk too. Dispose of it in the desert. And I'm trying this 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 is what this is what did it for me. He woke up. He woke up in the trunk. And y'all got all these traffic violations. You got no seatbelts on times two. You got no license plate on this car. And nobody stopped you. I don't know. I don't know if that was a hiccup or if that's what they wanted to show in this show. I don't know. That kind of threw me like, y'all still ain't get caught though? So this fool actually, he has something to cut his way through the leather. And I was like, oh snap, he's about to lunge at the car and the car gonna flip over didn't happen he did get out though and when that truck popped up i about flipped i said oh snap they're giving it to us this episode y'all run now we on a we on a we on a run we running now y'all mind you he did all them shots Le leon let off all those shots in the car which was dangerous as heck what if it would have ricocheted right oh, that would terrible what we gonna do for the rest of the season <laughs> anyway none of the shots connected none of the shots made contact we running through the desert looking for blood trails, traces. We finally find him. And that's when I realized this fool was in his socks. And y'all couldn't catch a man without shoes and he's in his drawers. He ain't dehydrated yet? How long were y'all searching? What happens? What happens, y'all? Left hand goes out. Leon puts the gun in Franklin's hand. Franklin couldn't do it. He could not... That man pleaded, and for some reason, he ha he still has a heart. Like I said, he still has a heart. He's still green, even though, even though he's aware of the damage and sorrow that Carvel has given the local community to him in particular. He still isn't able to stomach the death, the murder. Leon takes it. Leon pop pop twice, dead. Leon's always there in the clutch, no matter what. Even though he treats him like crap sometimes. Then we see them split after they do the cell, which was dope. They go, one goes one way and one goes the other way. Now, the, for the ending, I like the ending actually because it told a lot. I don't know if y'all were rocking with it or not. Drop a comment below how you felt on that very last scene. This is my spill on it. Yes, Franklin could have left with three keys. He said, I'm good, I'm out. Franklin doesn't want a middleman. Franklin doesn't want a middleman because it has BS attached to it. He doesn't want... Uh, he doesn't want to go. He wants to go through the source. He does not want to go through payments, the beating up somehow, some way. I think he's going to get involved straight with Teddy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or he's going to end up going back to Ivy. Pro Love the episode. Episode was dope. Y'all drop a comment below. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time. Peace.